The Boys season 4 is out in full on Amazon Prime, 8 episodes around 1 hour each. The irreverent, adult, uh, hyper-violent and satirical superhero show is back again in what unfortunately is the weakest season yet by a large margin. Um, the story continues on with Butcher once again getting thrown out of the boys and now dealing with the terminal cancer from the 10 V usage. The rest of the boys try to come up with a plan to stop Victoria Newman from taking over the US government and at the same time to get rid of Homelander, who himself enlists the help of two new members of the Seven, Sister Sage and Firecracker, to consolidate his power. So the show has been pretty amazing for almost the entire three seasons, until the last episode of season three backed out of almost all interesting things it set, set up and essentially reverted back to status quo. And now in season four, we pretty much just meander within the confines of the, that status quo for about seven and a half episodes. You know how an anime will sometimes have a filler arc uh, that is not based on the manga and is only there to pad the runtime without impact on the larger plot? Uh, well, this season is kind of a filler arc. Uh, aside from the last episode, nothing substantial happens, nothing gets resolved or moved ahead in a meaningful way. There's little tension because we can feel now that the characters have plot armor and as a result Homelander and the rest of the soups uh, are much less frightening uh, than in the earlier seasons. Um, some of the plot lines, like the sex dungeon thing or the whole drama between Frenchie and Kimiko, just feel badly written and like we're going around in circles and repeating the same stuff over and over again. The show has also lost some of its bite or a lot of its bite when it comes to satirizing the current uh, American media landscape and, and politics because it's too direct now. Uh, I mean, it was never subtle to, to begin with, but uh, now it's just spelling things out directly. And in some instances, it's not even satirizing real events, it's just repeating them, which means it's far less interesting as a result. I did still like some of the humor. I did still like Anthony Starr's performance. I think he remains the strongest point of the show and one of, one of the all-time great villains, truly. I did like A-Train's arc and I found Firecracker to be a much more interesting character than it initially seemed, but that's about it. Um, the rest of it felt like killing time before the final showdown in season 5, which we know is going to be the last one. So yeah, as a result I'm kind of still excited for it and hopeful that it will do all these things that season 4 was afraid to do, uh, because this one was a massive step down and a big, long, sleepy yawn in an otherwise very entertaining show. Let's hope for a return to form next time around.